Okay friends, to get started we need to come to our passenger side front of our hood compartment and relieve our negative battery terminal. Make sure you set that aside so it's making no contact with the battery. Now let's move over to our air inlet tube. Go ahead and grab onto this tab right here and remove the wiring. Remove the next one, come right over here where it's mounted in. Perfect. Now we're going to come right here to this clamp and loosen it up. Make your way up to this area. Remove this wing nut. Go ahead and grab onto this, give it a nice wiggle. Grab onto this vacuum line, pull that off. Remove this and set it aside. Now the next thing I'm going to do is remove the nuts for this bracket right here. Grab the bracket and slide it off of here. Now let's remove the three bolts that hold this bracket. You've got one here, a nut down there, and then one over there. Now we're going to come underneath this clip right here and release it. Grab the bracket. Perfect. Now the next thing I would want to do is remove these two lines right here, but as you can tell on our particular model, somebody went ahead and fabricated something so the line can't come off of this. Now we're going to come to this area here and remove the wiring for those. These are both the same size. Now we can grab onto our throttle. Wow, look at the back side of this thing. This needs to be taken care of. Okay, now we have access to remove our throttle position sensor. Now that we have the throttle body off, we're going to be able to access both of our mounting bolts for our throttle position sensor. I'm just going to go ahead and use my Torx bit and remove both bolts. Grab onto that sensor, give it a nice little wiggle, and draw it away from the throttle body. Okay, now it's going to be time to install our brand new throttle position sensor. Let's have a real quick look at the back here, and you can tell that the center area, where the shaft's supposed to go in, has a little flat spot on it. Also, if you look at the shaft on the throttle body, it also has a flat spot. We need to line that up, and of course our bolt holes will start in both of our bolts and then snug them up. Slide that right on there. Okay, it's bottomed out, teeny bit more. Perfect. Anytime you remove your throttle body, it's a good idea to replace the gasket or at least remove it and inspect it. Now I'm just gonna set this down right over it. Let's start in all three of our studs. Now I'm just gonna snug this up. And now we'll torque them to 80 inch pounds. Now let's connect them in. The one with the four prongs on it is gonna go to your IAC valve, and then the other one's gonna come to your throttle position sensor. Give them a nice tug, perfect. Now let's start putting these front brackets on. You wanna make sure you slide them over both of the studs that are sticking up right there, and then we'll start in our stud here. Once we have the stud started, we'll continue on by starting on both of our nuts. Now let's snug them up. Time for the driver's side bracket. Slide that on there, start on both of our nuts, and then we'll snug them up. Let's put our wires into the little holders. One right there. We've got one on this side. Okay, make sure those are nice and secure. Now it's time to get the air inlet on there. Pay attention to this lower area right here. You have a little hooky-do. It needs to slide underneath the throttle body. Put on your wing nut, connect this back in, grab our wiring, slide it along where it goes, let's connect these in, air temp sensor, mass airflow sensor, give them both a nice tug. Now we're going to connect this in. You want to pay attention to the fact that this has an outer ring and an inner ring. The inner ring needs to of course go on the inside aspect of this and then the outer ring goes along the outside. Slide it in so it bottoms out and it fits inside the groove and tighten up your clamp. Yeah. 
Okay friends, now all you have left to do is go ahead and start up the truck. Make sure you don't have a misfire.